Hi everybody and welcome to Shirley's Beauty Channel. I am Shirley. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate you guys so much. I do hope you guys are having a great day and having a great weekend. It's Sunday. I just did a one video on my Walmart unboxing and I said that this week on Wednesday or Thursday that I was going to do my other video. But I got so excited, guys. I can't wait. So I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to get into what I was going to tell you. So last month, I am a BoxyCharm subscriber, first of all. And I've been with BoxyCharm for over three years. Please don't get me wrong. I love, love, love BoxyCharm. It's had its mistakes. It's had its issues. Um but I still love it. For the price of what I pay there and the stuff I get, it's so beyond, it's not even equal. Um, it's just awesome. So it gives me the opportunity to try things that I would have never tried, things I would have never bought. I am not a shopper by far. I love uh, BoxyCharm though, and I love makeup. And I was really excited to get this um, product. It was in my May 2020 box. I don't remember what box it was in, if it was in my base box or my premium box. Um, but I got this and I was excited to get this because I love lip balms and the packaging was just so so cool I wanted it so much so I get it and I'm so excited because check out the packaging guys it's a little rose container uh, this is a balm it is made by sugar rush Tarte's sister company is sugar rush very cool so this is in peony okay so I also frequent the dollar stores because they've got some really good things, you know, like when I need baskets. I'm a large scrapbooker. I've got my own room for scrapbooking, and I went into the store last weekend to get a couple of baskets to put some papers in, etc. And I happened to walk by this end cap, and what did I find? Something almost like this. Almost, guys. I forgot uh, this has a 12 or $15 retail value, okay? Um, this is Peony. You can tell I've already used it a couple times. It's high shea butter wax and it's pretty good. It's clear, so there is no color to it. So I'm walking by this end cap, okay? And I looked and I had to look again. Double take time. What did I see? You got it. Dollar store dupe, maybe? We'll see. The rose here is a little bit more in depth and in detail than the rose at the dollar store. This has a color. The color on this is Lola. So I just couldn't believe it. I walked by, and of course, I had to get this. So that one's Lola, and I just opened it a few minutes ago, but I could not believe the containers were almost a match. So I opened this up. Check out that color. It's not that dark. I did put my finger in it. I, I don't know if you can kind of see a little swatch. You really can't see a swatch on it. It is a very light color, very light hue. So while I'm there, I looked and they had another one. Same kind of lids. This one's Lola and this one's Kara. Let's just open up Kara and see what color that is. Part of the reasons that I wanted that box, the boxy charm, is for this container because this container is so cute. There are so many things that you can do with this container once you're done. It'll take you a while to use this lip balm, of course. But you can put your earring backs in there. Like I have a spare um, little container like such that has um, an earring back or um, a spare nose ring. Because I've lost that before. This one is wow. This one is orange. Let's see how... 
I'm not sure that it would be this bright when I put it on, but this is an orange. It's pretty cool. It smells a little bit. I don't think, again, you can tell on my skin. Not really. But there's a little bit of glitter, a little bit of shine to it. Not glitter, but shine. So, guys, for a buck or 12 or 15, would it matter to you as long as it did what it was supposed to? So I did look, and the difference is, is this one, um, a, a couple other things that I always look for is where these products are made. If they're made in China, um, sometimes I get stuff, they're made in Korea. Doesn't bother me, I still want to know. But this one is actually made and um, distributed by Tarte. It's made in the USA, though, and that's all it tells me. Something else I want to tell you guys too, when you when you get your makeup, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, a mascara, an eyeliner, did you know that these have expiration dates just like your food does? I'm really conscious about those. So I did some research on them. And if you look at this, this one here expires in 12 months. See that right there? Can you, can you see this? It has like a little container that's open and the number there says 12M that means in 12 months from the time you open it it should be expired but sometimes um i feel that these are already expired too especially if they're not sealed and i really am cautious about that now this here is made in China. The dollar store ones were made in China. Um, and this one, it's manufactured for Remy Rose Cosmetics out of Fresno, California, but made in China. You can go to resnyrose.com, uh, Remy, R-E-M-I, Rose Cosmetics.com. If you had any problems with that, this is both of these are moisturizing lip balms and they will keep your lips soft and happy with a hint of dewy color. This one here doesn't have any color. Again, I was so shocked um, to find these. So it's up to you guys. A dollar. If you guys didn't get this in your boxy charm, go to the dollar store. Hopefully your dollar store will have one of these colors. These are the only two colors that I found there. Of course, if there was another one, I probably would have bought one too. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. So before I go, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Just hit the subscribe button. Above the subscribe button is a bell. Turn that bell on. And then that way you'll be notified every time I post a video. Also, there's a thumbs up button and a thumbs down button. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, please. If you didn't, then you can go ahead and hit thumbs down. That's okay. I understand. Not everybody is into these type of videos. Guys, have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.